All right, welcome back here to The Hill on News Nation. So for years, we have seen Republicans that sometimes trash Donald Trump, only to then flip and tout him. This man is a pathological liar. Donald Trump is a serial philanderer. Tonight, in nominating Judge Gorsuch, President Trump has honored that commitment. He's kept his word. There is no way we are going to allow a con artist to take over the conservative movement, and Donald Trump is a con artist. Donald Trump is committed to cut taxes, curb spending, and get our national debt under control. Oh, brutal. Okay. Brutal, but Blake. Might Blumen. that brutal. have happened in reverse? <laughs> Check out this headline from the New York Times. Quote, Trump seeking cash infusion meets with Elon Musk. Here's why I bring it up, Lauder. <laughs> Trump has been trashing electric vehicles. Mm -hmm. That's just his belief. It's his belief. So be it. Um, and then he meets with the second wealthiest man in the world, who is the best EV maker. What What's the thinking there? What's going on? Is he changing his tune? I don't think he's changing his tune on electric vehicles, but I have. A, he also owns X, or formerly Twitter. He owns SpaceX, which has a lot of uh, important NASA contracts, and he's the second richest guy in the world who could cut a Zuckerberg-sized check, not to a candidate, but to a PAC or to some other organization that could fulfill the America First mission. M Mick, you've, you've been in these meetings before with, with Trump and Musk. What, what do you make of it? Because he's, he's uh -huh. been going after EVs non- Stop. And when I saw that headline, I thought, wait a minute, is, is he now actually trying to make things all good with someone else? Hey, listen, I don't know what they talk about today. I can assure you of this. There was no written agenda for this meeting. Period. <laughs> End of story. I mean, talk about two people who can talk about literally anything. I think I've sat in on, on two or three of these things. It was just like watching the circus. It was fascinating. Of course, Elon Musk, one of the very brightest people you're ever going to meet, but the dude is strange. There's no question about it. He did put out something on, on X this afternoon saying he was not going to give any money to a political yep. candidate. As Mark yep. points out, this is not about money to candidates. This is about money to PACs. So that door yeah, seems so like it might be open. So here's the post. Just to be super clear, I am not donating money to either candidate for U.S. President Elon Musk today. The key word there, Chris, is candidate. Candidate. And, and he could certainly get around that. You know, I'm reminded of when Trump, uh, do you remember when he came uh, and let Bud Light out of MAGA jail? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Long ago? Yeah, like a yes. week ago. And he said that the, Bud Light had paid for its transgressions uh, for having there the was, transgender. There was a influencer. fundraiser involved, right? Yeah. And so the, the thing that, and Mick can uh, speak to this from, from his experience, too, there is a very transactional nature to the way Donald Trump does this stuff, right? Like, I want to see it. I want, the, I, want the, I, want, I want it in my hand. And Musk, I'm sure, wants Trump to stop trashing electric cars. Uh, but he also would like Trump, I'm sure, to get back on Twitter and give up on the truth huh. social experiment. Well, I, I have the regrettable experience of uh, setting up an event where President Obama had to walk with Elon Musk years ago with SpaceX. And I remember, you know, he he was actually very Why is like it regrettable. It was regrettable because now the things he says on X, which he bought with Saudi money, it's outrageous. I mean, he tells women that they need to have more babies, and then he says that uh, immigrants shouldn't be coming to this country. He is an immigrant. It's so bizarre. I mean, honestly, half I think the time some, he's I think there's some nuance pot. to that argument. <laughs> half the time he's smoking pot, he's talking about it. He's well, he is. We don't know. He says he is right, and so there's just you know a lot of questionable activity. And the U.S. taxpayers subsidized his companies. Te so I do believe it is regrettable. Te te Tesla, uh, obviously, tax credits, SpaceX, government contracts. I was just going to add that he later tweeted, politics is tribal rather than logical. <laughs> that's what Musk That's what Musk yeah. tweeted? It's all logic. Yeah. Okay. He's, just all, he's just pure, like, he's Spock. <laughs> <laughs> Ones and zeros. All right. Come Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.